Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, please click the subscribe and bell buttons to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And like, comment and also share the videos with your friends and family. The Grenade Hall Signal Station and Grenade Hall Forest are located in the parish of St. Peter on the east coast of the island. Nature lovers will treasure a visit to the Grenade Hall Natural Tropical Forest to experience a serene tranquility while listening to the chirping melodies of the resident birds and the rustling of the leaves as the barbarous green monkeys, which reside there, play on the forest floor and move slowly through the white wood, dogwood, mahogany and silk cotton trees. The forest was started to educate locals and travelers about the environment and different plant species found on the island. As you browse through the forest you will encounter coral stone which is said to be about 65 million years old. The Three Mile Nature Trail in the forest consists of easy to follow, well marked educational pathways with signboards providing entertaining questions. The answer to each question is revealed by lifting the sliding panel at the front of the sign for a relaxing but educational experience. The tour is self-guided, so you set your own pace as you walk under the canopy of trees, making good use of the extensive guideposts that identify various trees, plants and their origins, while discovering the healing power of many of the plants found in the forest. We're going to the moon. In the jungle too. Everybody in the club now. Trying to slide the kangaroo. So let the horn to the dang do y'all. The posted signs offer valuable information regarding medicinal plants that were used by slaves as cures and how these same plants are now being used in modern medicine. The forest connects to the Barbados Wildlife Reserve allowing patrons to access that area as well.
Grenade Hall has a cave system identified by signs that was once used by the early Amerindian inhabitants of the island for shelter during the hurricane season way before the British set foot on the island. The caves can be explored to see how extensive they are and also to get an idea of what it must have been like for those Amerindians who used it for shelter. The green monkeys know when it is time to eat and they often show up just before the food arrives which is around 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. daily that's when the caretakers deliver several wheelbarrows full of ripened fruits. The Barbados green monkey originally came from Senegal and the Gambia in West Africa some 350 years ago and since the arrival in Barbados about 75 generations have elapsed making it possible for the monkeys to evolve and adapt to their new environment where they now display a different set of characteristics to those in West Africa. Therefore, they can appropriately be called the Barbados Green Monkey since they will not be found existing anywhere else in the world. The Grenade Hall Signal Station Watchtower was originally constructed in 1819 in the north of Barbados after a major slave revolt in 1816 which caused plantation owners to become paralyzed with fear and this initiated a greater priority for safety. The Grenade Hall signal station has been restored as a tourist attraction and is open to the public now displaying a series of exhibitions and artifacts uncovered from the site during renovations giving a glimpse into the life of the soldiers who were stationed there. Inside the tower is an audio which plays as you explore the signal station which provides further insights into the history of the location and the important role that the signal stations played in Barbados' history. The Grenade Hall signal station was formed as part of a group of six signal stations erected across Barbados that operated in unison to relay intelligence information and other messages to warn the military which was stationed at the garrison savannah in Bridgetown against intruders approaching ships, hurricanes, cane fires or rebellions from slaves who worked on the plantations at that time. Because of the introduction of the telephone to the island, the station suffered from neglect and was at one point buried under tons of foliage.
Whatever it was that made these perfect vantage points for communication in the 1800s now make them perfect lookout points for appreciating the breathtaking views of the countryside assessed through the many windows that were once used by soldiers as vantage points. The signal station has two floors and overlooking the reserve you can see the Atlantic Ocean two miles to the east and the Caribbean Sea three miles to the west. 